Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, welcome back to Sunday School. This isn't quite how we imagine things going this year, uh, but we are excited to reach out to you wherever you are and uh, try to have some time together to talk about God. Uh, this week uh, is September 13th, and uh, not only is it our first Sunday of online Sunday school, uh, but it's also Vikings Packers Sunday, so I hope you're planning on watching the Vikings beating the Packers later today, like me. Uh, we are going to be covering a special Bible story today, actually two Bible stories. The first one is the story of creation, where God creates the first uh, human beings and breathes life into them. And the second story is how there's a bit of a break in the relationship between God and those human beings. I'm going to read those stories for you today, and we're going to talk just a little bit about them. So here goes. Our stories for today come from the Children of God Storybook Bible by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. And our first story is called Adam and Eve. God breathed the breath of life into the first person and called that person Adam. He put Adam in a beautiful garden called Eden, where there was every kind of delicious fruit to eat. Adam could play all day long and eat whenever he was hungry. But Adam was lonely. God said, My child, it is not good to be alone. So God brought all the birds and animals to keep him company, but Adam said, I need a proper friend. Yes, you are quite right, God said. And God put Adam into a deep sleep. When he awoke, Adam saw that God had made a woman. Wow! Adam said, his jaw dropping in amazement. He'd never seen anything so beautiful and so wonderful. Her name was Eve, and she would be the mother of all people. Adam and Eve laughed together and loved each other and were happy in the Garden of Eden. God smiled when he saw their joy. He told them to have children so that love and happiness could spread over the whole earth. Dear God, it says, Thank you for giving us each other to love. Well, that was a pretty cool story, right? Uh, this is a story that shows us how much God loves this world, and especially human beings like you and me. God took time to not only shape us out of the dust of the ground, but God breathed life into each of us. Um, this is also a story about how God so cares for us that God wants us to not be lonely and just be all by ourselves, but a story about how God gives us all these wonderful animals that we get to play with in this world, and God creates other human beings for us to be with in this world. That's because God cares about a relationship with us and wants us to have good relationships with other people. Now we're going to hear another story about how sometimes there's a breakdown in those relationships. Here goes. God loves us even when we do wrong, leaving the garden. In the middle of the Garden of Eden grew a very special tree. God said to Adam, you must not eat the fruit from this tree. In the garden lived a serpent that liked to make mischief. The serpent said to Eve, if you eat the fruit from this tree, you will become like God. You will know everything. The fruit looked ripe and juicy, so Eve picked one and tasted it. Then she handed it to Adam, and he ate too. As they chewed, the fruit began to taste bitter, and their smiles turned to frowns. That evening, God walked in the garden and called to them, Adam, Eve, where are you? But Adam and Eve were hiding. They were afraid because they had disobeyed God. Why are you hiding from me, God said. Did you eat from the tree in the middle of the garden? Eve made me do it, said Adam. The serpent made me do it, said Eve. God let out a deep, disappointed sigh, <sighs> like the wind in the trees at night. Not only had these two disobeyed him, they did not even say they were sorry. God punished the serpent, and Adam and Eve had to leave this glorious garden from then on, they had to work hard in the fields to grow food. But God still loved them and watched over them wherever they went. Dear God, help me to do what is right, and to remember you love me even when I do wrong. This part of the story is a little harder to take, isn't it? 
this part where the human beings hurt each other and they hurt God, and you can hear that disappointment where God <sighs> sighs. I wonder if your parents have ever sighed at you when you've made a mistake and you've hurt them, or maybe you've hurt your brother or sister. The good news of stories like this is even though sometimes we break the relationships we have with other people, there are ways that we can repair those relationships. We can say we're sorry, and we can work for forgiveness. And we can be the people who offer forgiveness to other people. Uh, this is a story from long ago, uh, but a story that reminds us that there are ways we hurt each other today. But it's also a story that reminds us we have the chance to do better. And we have the chance to put back together those relationships that are broken and work hard to care for one another in this world. So at this time, we invite you to go through the lesson materials that we provided for you, have a little fun with them as a family, and remember that as you work on that stuff together, you're doing God's work of bringing together uh, your family and relationships with each other. We hope you have a fun time, and we look forward to more videos like this as we go along and uh, sharing a little bit of God's love with you uh, wherever you are. Oh, and one more thing. Go Vikings!